She's beautiful. She's light-skinned. Long hair, like a brown color. We're gonna get you some clarity. We're gonna look into this for you, but one thing, you can't send her any money. Why not? I mean, I've been doing it. So it wouldn't affect, I'm just saying it wouldn't affect me like that. Actual pictures that I take right now, I can't uh, FaceTime you. Things I can't do in the military because of our security. Young living every day, giving it to you and cutting straight. Y-L-E said it. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Listen, y'all, we got a guest in the building today. Go by the name of Chaparra. <laughs> Listen, today, man, this video is about this Uber driver. You know, he got finesse, you know, catfished by this lady. Well, he got catfished by somebody specifically. We're going to watch the whole video. We're going to dive into it right now. I grew up in a very religious family, so it was real strict. Grew up uh, with my with my grandparents. I never wanted to be looked upon as somebody like a loser. I always kind of wanted to be a little bit better than that. Nobody to feel sorry for me or anything like that. So it was a standard that I tried to hold, try, that I held for myself. I'm the kind of guy that I work, man. I don't, I, I work every day. I put in 10 to 12 hours a day. I try to enjoy what I do. I get up at four o'clock in the morning. I'm out by five. I work from five, because I like driving during the day versus night. I work from five to five. Sometimes five to six, 12 hours, seven days a week. The last relationship I was in, I was in it for quite some time, over 10 years. And this one person was actually sort of mean to me, a narcissist, sort of a sociopath, controlled me, abused me physically as well as uh, verbally. But I, I kind of felt that the relationship was over because I was being put out of my own home. But I needed somebody that I needed to reach out to. I really did, because I felt like I wanted to scream. And a lot of that I had to um, keep within me. Now guys, look, first thing I'm gonna say before we get into the video, man, is you gotta make sure that you always maintain and have boundaries, you know, in those kind of situations. And stand on your boundaries. Don't never let a woman overstep their boundaries, you know. Another thing as well, don't let them be putting their hands all on your stuff like that. If she ain't got no, they expect you to have emotional control, so they need to, you know what I'm saying, exercise emotional control as well and not be putting their hands on you. Because if she's going to put her hands on you like that, ain't no far, ain't no telling how far she's willing to take it. You know, um, what do you think about what he had to say? Um, I, I can tell that he's like genuinely a good person. Mm -hmm. He has good intentions and I think... Well, like you said, he doesn't have boundaries. So even though he's a good person, that's people take advantage of that. And I feel like that's what's happening to him. Mm. Okay. Well, y'all, let's continue. It could be anything. TV, it could be another woman around us. The woman could look a certain way. She would start in on me. I know you were looking at her. I know this. I know that. I know, you know, always had to defend myself. Even before a situation would come up, she would create a situation. So I always had to be on defense with myself, which I did not like. It made me feel very uncomfortable because I felt like I was always better than that. And I didn't need to be in a situation like that. I was at the tail end of that relationship and this 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 person came in out of nowhere through my texting. I like the photo. So I replied and I asked, I said, well, who is this? And she thought I was somebody else and I wasn't not. That's how we started the conversation. She told me her name was Mary. She was very uh, comforting, very, very supportive. She's younger. She was 32. She's beautiful. She's light-skinned. Long hair, 
like a brown color. Now listen, y'all guys. No, no attractive girl gonna randomly text you out of the blue. Oh, I have the wrong number, and then continue to talk to you. We live in a society now. Even if they, you come to them and give them unwanted attention in public, they look at you as a creep. Are you weird? So what? What you think? What makes you think that she's gonna feel comfortable with talking to you over the phone? What do you think about that situation? She she was having some other intentions with that, probably because. I don't know, like when I get a text message from somebody that's they say wrong number and they try to continue the conversation, I don't I don't respond because this is a stranger. Like, you know, I don't know you. So See, my yeah. point exactly. If they don't know you, they're not about to continue conversation with you through the through a phone with a stranger. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's continue, y'all. She's beautiful, man. She's a beautiful woman. Puerto Rican, beautiful hair, beautiful skin beautiful pictures in the midst of mike's relationship he received a random text from a person that would help him through his rough relationship and change his life i was honest with her i told her i was in an unhappy relationship we sleep in separate rooms we have no interlinkings we have nothing we were just in something and i needed to get out and so she was comforting with that she was like listen just when she comes at you, argues at you, don't say anything. I was still in that home when we started talking. We were sleeping in separate rooms and I was talking to this person every day, comforting to me because I was lonely. I didn't, I um, was unhappy and uh, she was just the perfect person to talk to at that time. The advice that you would give me is to be quiet. Don't be in a fighting mood with her because you're gonna be leaving out of there. Um, so while you're there, just go in your room, be quiet, and try to be to yourself. Very supportive. Her astrology sign and my astrology sign are probably the one most compatible things out there because we're both emotional people. Uh, I'm sensitive, she's sensitive. That really brought us together because we understood each other. I just went right into it. She was just, everything was just perfect. Oh, hell no. You don't really know this girl like that and you like airing all your dirty laundry out telling her about your personal life like that, you know? You get to know somebody, you don't just tell them all your information, you know, right off the bat. That that's just that's just a red flag right there. Like you don't do that. And then he said they both were emotional. Like you're a guy, you're not supposed to be emotional. You, you're supposed to have control of your emotions. Women are typically more emotional than men are. You need to be able to control yourself, man. Then he's talking about the astrology signs. Like I don't really get into that whole astrology thing. Oh, you're a Pisces. I'm a I'm a Gemini. Like man, no, that don't mean shit to me. What do you say on that one? What do you think going on? Um, I think that she was filling a void that he had because he was getting that attention from her that he wasn't getting from the relationship that he was in. I mean, honestly, if he was in a relationship, he probably shouldn't even have, you know, communicated with her like that until he was out of it. But she was just what he needed when it came to, like, talking about problem somebody to you know that yeah. to talk to but let's continue we we opened up the day and we closed the day throughout the day we would talk just Maybe. what's happening <laughs> how wonderful we felt talking to each other and how glad we were to meet each other i really i really feel strongly about you i mean i'm becoming more and more into you i mean it was those type of conversations what how you growing strong feelings for her? You calling her baby? He didn't mention one thing about having no FaceTiming on the phone with the girl, no video chat. You ain't even seen this woman. That's another test right there too. Did you video chat her? Because if you video chat with the girl or attempt to, and then she's like, oh, I can't see you, and she's trying to dodge you, you know she a catfish. How you fall in love with somebody that you've never seen before? But hey, man, this is what, this is what happened when you don't have no respect for yourself as a guy, man. You, you know, 
and you don't have the abundance mindset, you know, then you start to fall for things like this because that, that's crazy. <laughs> you fall for somebody that you've never, ever seen before. <laughs> that's ridiculous. But let's continue, y'all. The more Mike would text Mary, the further he grew apart from his current girlfriend of 10 years. He felt he needed to make a decision. Because my business was my business. We weren't married. We were just in a relationship. She never found out that I was online talking to someone. I kept giving her chances because that was just the type of person I am. Although I wasn't happy, I kept giving her chances. And then it became a situation to where I couldn't do it anymore. No, see, he's saying he kept giving her chances because that's the kind of person he was. He kept giving her chances because he didn't have that many options. You know what I'm saying? That's what it came down to. When you got the abundance mindset as a guy, you got your life together, and there's plenty of women available to you, you're not going to tolerate that kind of BS from a female. He didn't have no other options. That's why he was tolerating it, and that's why she was the first thing he latched. She was the first thing he latched on to. What's your take on it? What you got to tell me, Chapata? Go for it. <laughs> um... Yeah, it seems like he would rather be with somebody that treats him badly than be alone. That's just that's just the like, you know, like the vibe that I get from him because he I don't know, he just wants to be with somebody mm -hmm. even if he's being mistreated cuz obviously he is if he's like, you know, looking for something else, he's being mistreated. So, I don't know. I I would just rather be by myself yeah yeah see but this is what i'm saying see how she said she'd rather be by herself that's because women naturally have the abundance mindset to say i would rather be by myself see i don't think as guys we're supposed to do what women do but sometimes you got to pay attention to them and take a few pages out of their book see her she got the abundance mindset she not gonna tolerate that but he did like i said before because he didn't have no other options but let's continue I mean, even with the evil one I was with for a long time, I took care of her. I did everything for her. And so since I found this beautiful soul, I want to take care of her. And I want to love her and be the things that she wants me to be. And love her completely. Be everything to her. It just gradually, gradually just got to the point to where it's, She's my heart. We call each other everything from honey to, to baby to baby boo, everything. Oh, boy. Baby honey, boo. <laughs> baby, sweetie, my love, everything, man. Oh, no. I, I would listen to her, and we never really argued or anything, ever. The first time she told me she loved me was about a month into us talking. But it wasn't like a love. It was, you know, a love where it had developed into a nice feeling. So she didn't just come out and just say, I love you. She, it was just something that after talking like we talked, it was something that she said she felt. Really, nigga? And for me... It was just what I needed because I was yearning that. Oh, Up until yeah. this point, Mike would do anything for Mary, but the situation got complicated when she claimed she was being deployed. She's in the military. She told me she was in Afghanistan. But, you know, they sit them out on their, their work. And the military is a stickler behind certain things, which I found out that they really truly are. Do's and don'ts of the military. I can't send you actual pictures that I take right now. I can't uh, FaceTime you. Things I can't do in the military because of our security level. A few times we were supposed to get together, but that didn't happen because of the military prolonging the stay and whatnot. Now, granted, I'm not in the military. I'm sure there are certain guidelines where you can't do certain things, but I'm sure they have private spaces where she could actually fight, FaceTime him and things like that. When a woman says she can't FaceTime you, she can't send you no pictures at all. 
you it's a that's a walking red flag right there but he just continue oh i'm oh, so sorry baby man ah man icy blue pill better sap man it's crazy that baby blue kills me <laughs> um I wonder, I don't know if he said it, but I wonder how long they had been talking at this point, like when they even said, I love you to each other, or when she supposedly went to um, Afghanistan. I don't think he said it, but. Yeah, he ain't never put no time and no date on like that type of thing at all. And then another thing, she all went in Afghanistan in the military. That's a walking red flag. What you gonna do with that? You all went in the state. Like that's, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah and at this point there should have been at least a facetime video call skype there's many ways Absolutely. whatsapp you know there's many ways for you to be able to facetime do a video call so i mean sure there could be pictures sent back and forth but i'm not gonna trust that <laughs> you know i need to or a phone, a phone call they didn't talk on the phone did they I don't no, think he said any, no, he, he said, said no, that. no phone calls, no yeah. FaceTime, just straight text messages. No, mm -mm, I would never do that. <laughs> so crazy. crazy how women value themselves, guys. You mm -hmm. gotta start valuing yourself too. Don't be an icy blue pill beta set like this guy. Believe it, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Don't be at home laying next to no whales, man. Well, let's continue. She really didn't ask me for money. It was more like we were discussing some of the things that she had to do with taking care of her relatives and some of the things that she had to pay. So I offered to help her. I did. All I wanted to do was help her. I didn't want her to struggle. I didn't want her to worry and I still don't. I don't want her to worry about a thing. I want her to, to serve her time out and I'll take care of her. This is you crazy. See how he said, I didn't ask her for anything because she indirectly was asking you to get you to give her something. He's so delusional and he's so unaware of how some women work and how they can manipulate you and make you do something like that. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Wow. She had him down bad. <laughs> he really had no idea. He's blind. Put wool over his eyes. But let's continue, y'all. She would thank me with all her heart. Thank you for everything you do for me. I really love you. Thank you for what you do for me. Thank you. Every day she would always thank me. She would thank me and thank me and tell me how proud she is and tell me how she knows that I love her and she loves me. It was those type of things that gravitate that make me gravitate to her because those are the things I hadn't heard or hadn't felt. She says, we're one. She said, and I would send 50 to $200 a day. <laughs> now you see, notice how she said, we are one. She keep on, all she doing is catering to his ego, selling him a pipe dream so he can keep sending her money. Cause she know she hit him right in the heart and that's just making him so excited. Oh yeah, let me just go send more money. They didn't even ask for more money. She said, we are one. You ain't never seen this girl. You never talked to her on the phone. <laughs> if this is even a girl that you even texting. Hey y'all, let's continue, man. 50 today, 200 tomorrow, 70 today, next day. What? 50, you know, Ever a certain yeah. amount, whatever yeah. I, I could sent to her to help her i work and so i have my account set up to my job and so they deposit the money so i can just send it right over to her what i want to send mike works in transportation he's extremely reliable he takes pride in making the people in his community feel comfortable and taken care of when they request a ride from him i i, I take pride in my job you know i did twenty six thousand rides for uber so man my experiences man i have so many i had a woman in my car yesterday she was so delightful i get joy out of this most of the time i provide a nice ride i provide a a ride where you know you can be yourself i mean 
you know, and, and if we want to talk, we can talk. Most of the time I talk about, you know, I like to talk. So it's whatever the mood is. I don't know what people go through throughout the day. So I don't judge a person by what I feel because most of the time you don't know. I, I'd say 98, 99% of the time, you don't know. I'm a good guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a giving guy. And I truly care if, if, if somebody's in my car and they're going through stuff, I, I'm there for them in terms of, 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 of having a conversation to, to just be open to what people have to say and be kind of understanding. Since Mary has claimed she was deployed to Afghanistan, Mike has essentially been funding her life. He sends her money daily. Uh, I would send her, it wouldn't be in a bulk sum. It would be like a little bit every day or every other day, you know, 200 bucks. I can make $200 a day, sometimes 300. So I send her a portion of that every day. She doesn't have to ask me, I just do it. And when I haven't been able to do it, you know, we talked about it, but it's me initiating it. And that's another thing. She had to ask me, I just do it. He said he driving 10, 12 hours a day. That's a lot of time to be driving, to be sending her money every single day. You got your own personal bills to pay. You don't, I mean, from what, what you say, that seemed like that woman ain't really helping you much at all. And now she out the picture, so it's just you. So that's another thing. You just giving your money away to a female and she's not earning it. When you just giving it away to them so freely, then they just look at it, you just see you as a cash cow. There's no burn performance on them, you know, having access to your resources. Don't just get everything up to them at one time. What's your take on it? Um, it seems like she got the perfect victim. I mean, sad to say, but whoever this person is behind all these text messages got the perfect victim because he, she, she didn't have to ask him. He just gave it to her without asking. So, <laughs> let, me ask, sad. let me ask you. So, if a guy was just giving and giving you money all the time, would you? Is that somebody that you would take serious? No. Like they just constantly just giving you money, even though you're not asking for it. Oh, what's your cash app? Or what's your uh, your uh, Venmo? Mm -mm. Or your PayPal? Let me just send you money through. No, I, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't take that person seriously because I don't really know what their intentions are. Like, why are you sending me this money? Like, you know, if I'm taking care of myself, then you know. Uh, unless I know that you know your intentions are good, but that's still that's still weird to me. Like if somebody, if a guy sends you money every day, yeah, that's mm -mm. See? doesn't sit right with me. That's what I'm saying. So you guys got to just stop giving out your resources freely to these girls, OnlyFans, these cash apps, what other sources you use to send girls money because they are gonna punish you for it. they don't respect you they see you as a icy blue pill beta sap a simp simping 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 y'all you, you know you can't be doing them type of things man so you know just make sure that when you are distributing your resources that is well earned is a woman that actually have a genuine desire for your initial attraction somebody who actually want to be around and it's you know pleasant to be around and they earn the right to you know have access to that experience man but uh yeah let's continue so if I make 150, I'll send her 75. Hell no. Nah. Every day it adds up. We've been together over two years. Two years? to $2,000 a month. So it might be more than that. I'm just using 30,000 as a ballpark. Oh man. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. 1,500 to $2,000 a month? Man. Oh hell no, nah, man! For a female that you never seen before, or heard, or heard <laughs> before, that's crazy. In a military in Afghanistan. Wow. Let's continue. Might be sixty. Let's say forty. It's almost like I pay her rent because she says she's gonna get her money after she gets out. We can share that. And I tell her, I won't need to really share that with you. You can just have that as your play money because what I'm getting, I'll be able to take care of you the rest of your life. Mm -mm. First off, she in the military. I don't know exactly how to go. I had a sister, one of my sisters, 
was um, overseas in the Middle East gone for a while. And let's just say she was, well, I won't say a while. She was gone for a year. She came back with, she, with a nice amount of money. They get paid over there. So why are you sending her half of your money that you're making every day when she's making money over there? Hypothetically speaking, say this was really a female in the military is what I'm saying, y'all. That's a straight finesse move. But let's continue. So I'm coming into a lot, a lot of money. Very, very large sum of money. Mary knows this. This is going to happen, I say, within days. And I want to share that with Mary. Mike is receiving a large amount of money from a settlement soon. He even plans on sharing a portion of it with Mary. This would help her get home and get rid of all the debt he has from sending her money every day. It's coming back to kind of bite me a little bit because I have taxes and we sent through Cash App and Bitcoin. And so now you have to ha be accountable for that. Thank God I'm getting what I'm getting because I can pay all my ta everything off. I'll be able to pay everything off the blessing that I, I'm getting. I knew eventually it would come through. So I knew if she was with me, I would be able to take care of her and still be able to take her. So this man went in debt, went into debt, trying to take care of a person that's supposed to be a female that he's never seen before. Don't you ever in your life let no woman take you down no mud path to debt. You going broke. You put yourself in a compromised position to where you could potentially be homeless. You don't have nowhere to stay all behind a face on the phone that you never seen and never heard. It's absolutely crazy right there. And then he, I mean, he got a settlement coming. I mean, well, say you're not taking care of her. You're giving her $2,000 a month. 2,000 times 12 is what? That's 24000 a year. There's your debt right there. Yeah, let's continue. She even sent me some documents to say mm -hmm. she I'm her fiance. So I gave up my information. You've never seen this girl before and she's trying to get you to marry her. If it's a female, whoever this person is, is trying to get you to sign some documents so they can clean you out, wipe you dry financially, drain you like a Dracula. <laughs> Dang, man. Let's continue. It was a document that was told to me that we had to submit uh, to show that I was her fiance. I have told my family about Mary. Yes. I told them that I'm in love with this person. I want to be with this person. Period. Um, and that they wouldn't tell me anything. They just make comments about hide your meter. Okay, watch out for so the internet. I, I, you know, that kind of stuff. They was on to something. Uh, in December, we're supposed to meet. There's no other setback. Can't be. The military doesn't do that. They don't hold you somewhere for three years and don't let you go home. Um, I don't want to believe that. That she's scamming me. No, I don't believe that. I believe that she is who she is. It would break my heart. It would break my heart. I believe her. I believe her, totally believe everything she tells me, everything. Well, Seekers, the next day, our team got together to come up with a game plan. Mike was deeply involved with Mary. He was missing all of the obvious red flags. David and I sat down with Mike for the first time to gather more details. We're really interested to hear more about your story, and we really want to help you out. We want to try to help you out. Okay, thank you. I have to hear about this girl. Man. Well, I'm in love with her. We've been doing this a long time, a couple of years over, and we've made all these plans. Our conversations are like a relationship, man. It's, it's everything. We talk mm -hmm. about everything. 
And how often do you guys talk? Every day. We watched your video back where you're breaking down your story and you just seem so sure about her being real. I guess I need confirmation. I mean, we have a few more months before this should come to fruition, but I thought it was gonna come to fruition before um, and it didn't three times. I'm doing this to find out for me and if I could just somehow be able to keep this to me, which I don't know, um, to bear not seeing her this time would, would really hurt me. If she's not who she says she is, how can we have a relationship? Yeah. Hundred percent. Because if she's not who she says she is, and she happens to be somebody else that's over somewhere, but that can't really get here to me. You know, there there, there isn't nothing. We're gonna get you some clarity. We're gonna look into this for you. But one thing, you can't send her any money. Why not? It just it doesn't make sense. That's what I've been doing. So it's not like I'm sending a lot. I. I it, it, but 50 bucks a day is still $1,500 a month. And if you've been talking for two years, I mean, that's like close to $30,000. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been doing that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, and by the way, I'm not here to judge you. I'm just saying, Mike, give us a week. I mean, I've been doing it. So it wouldn't affect, I'm just saying it wouldn't affect me like that. Look, you're a grown man. You make your own decisions. I'm just giving you a, the advice that we give all of our clients. I know, I know you guys are. Um, so if I did send this money, every day or every other day or whatever what would that do mike it doesn't look good like you haven't met her in person you haven't you haven't talked to her on the phone I know, all that. You haven't, I know all that it's just not good to send keep sending her money until we can give you clarity but what i'm saying is with that if i still if i sent her this little money would that affect anything it's not gonna affect me it's not gonna affect drew but you know, like you came to us for a reason. You came to us because something in the yeah. back of your mind is telling you your spidey sense is, is kicking right. off right now. And it's like, hey, Mike, something's right. going on here. Based right. on what you're telling us, the advice, and we deal with hun literally hundreds of thousands of people a year come yeah. to us. Yeah. And so, so I'm just trying to help you out. In the end of the day, Mike, if you want to still send her money, send her money. But I personally don't think you should do it. My, my colleague here, Drew, agrees with me. But in the end of the day, it's really, it's really up to you. Now, she didn't curve you. You supposed to meet her like three times, curved you. And you didn't sent the woman over $30,000 already. And you're talking about it's not going to affect you. How can it not affect you if you in debt from sending her money? And you sent her $30,000. Do you not? Like, it's like this guy doesn't have, he, he does not understand financial literacy at all. It's not going to affect me if I do it. I've been doing it already. Yeah, it is. Going, you digging a deeper hole for yourself. You're making it almost impossible to pull yourself out. These guys literally are trained professionals and they expose these people all the time. And you trying to go back and forth with the people who are able to help you and prevent you from still spending money. You want to continue to keep doing it. Yeah, I agree with what you said. Um, I just, oh, I can't. It just doesn't make sense to me how he, two years, over two years, no phone call. Still, like, even after, you know, a few weeks, <laughs> I would have been like, nope, this is red flag here. But, yeah, it's interesting, like, what you said about him not wanting to listen to the, like, they're experts. They, they've they done this so many times. They've seen the patterns. Mm -hmm. And he's still trying to fight them. Like, it's not going to affect me. I don't know why he was so, like persistent about that either because you know no, man, I don't know. yeah it's just i don't know wow but whatever man let's continue <laughs> i've said way too much to let 250 bucks or 200 dollars affect anything all right so next steps so uh we'll get the information from you and then we'll follow up with you in one week with all the answers okay okay all right all right after a few days Virginia and Bree sat down to find out who the real woman was in these photos. If we could figure out that, we could bring an end to this mess.
So, Mike needs our help verifying his online girlfriend's identity. Okay. He's been talking to her for a few years now, mm -hmm. and he sends her money every day. Did he send any photos or information? Yeah, I actually have a picture of her that maybe we can run a reverse image search on. Okay. Check this out. Wow, look at all these profiles of her. This is a lot. Wow. It's going to be pretty difficult to sift through all these different profiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look what I found. An article that says cyber criminals target military online to set up imposter romance scams. And it has our Instagram handle right here. Yep. Let's look her up. Yeah. It looks like that page might have been deactivated. Yeah, but look, there's so many fake profiles of her. I know, but none of her official page, huh? Um, I found a picture of her and what looks like to be maybe her boyfriend or husband or something. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe we just run a reverse image search on him. Okay. Go through his friends list and see if we can find her. Okay. I found his Facebook profile. It looks like he's tagged her in a picture. And I was able to find her Instagram profile using that same name. Hmm. Look at this. No wonder we can't find her. Different last name. Mm -hmm. They're married now. Gotcha. That's why we can find her right now. Yeah. Okay, so now we know that Mike's girlfriend is complete fake mm -hmm. uh now i'm wondering where his money's going to so i have his number up here where he's been sending money um and i can run a search and see where the funds led to and how does this fit my tracking work so depending on how much he sent i'll follow the funds um most likely it'll end in an exchange where these scammers are exchanging out the funds and cashing out the money so check it out it looks like his funds moved twice and then they went to this exchange I recognize that exchange. Yeah. Sadly, Mike has not only been talking to a fake profile using someone else's images, but he's been sending money to a popular exchange that we often see in romance scams. I think the light at the end of the tunnel is that he gets clarity mm -hmm. and now he can move on from his scammer. It was now time to sit down with Mike and go over everything that we had found. Hey Mike, how's it going? Um. It's okay. I was just had this on my mind all day. I bet. I have no doubt. Yeah. I have a question for you. Mm hmm Did you send her money? Yeah. Since we last spoke? Yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we talked about it, but we have a lot of information for you today. We do. Okay. Starting with the fact that she's in Afghanistan. So we pulled troops out of Afghanistan in 2021. Right. Did you guys ever speak about that? Yep. And what did she say? She said there, there's a few troops left there. And that's why she was deployed there? Yeah. Yeah. That's her calling me now. Mm -hmm. Let me get rid of her. If Mike, yeah. put the phone down and then let's let us give you this information. This is, I promise you, this is way more important than, than, you know, letting her know where you are. Okay, I'm listening. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, to just to kind of go back, Mike, uh -huh. like I said, there's just no way she could be deployed in Afghanistan because we pulled troops out in 2021. What are you thinking with, with that information? Uh, he is so hypnotized by this girl. They are helping him expose the truth, and he's just so fixated on that phone, he's not even listening. Uh, oh, uh, she's calling right now. It's crazy, man. It's just in, she just got him so programmed to just be controlled. It's, it's, it's strange. It's like he's like a robot or something. It's crazy. But let's continue. I knew that. I, that, you know, it brought, uh, uh, it brought, I'm just telling her, okay. She'll she'll understand. Okay. Um. I it brought doubts. It brought doubts to me. Isn't that the reason why you you sent all you know every time you sent her yeah. money is because of that, right? No. I send her money because of what we have. I don't send it to her because of that. I send it to her because I. That's what I want to do. I don't have nothing. That's why I send her money. We took a look at your chats and one thing that really stood out, Mike, is like every time you guys chatted, you would like literally pour your heart out to her. 
right? Yeah. Yeah. But her responses were very vague. It was just like, okay, baby, thanks, honey. You know, yeah. just very, very vague responses. She never mm-hmm. responded back. And it was just really about money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was that a red flag to you? I mean, as you guys were chatting, I mean, was that frustrating to just be giving somebody your heart and then not hearing no. anything back from them? Because I had begun, we, we, we've talked so much, I began to just trust that. We talked so much. I just began to just accept it. Forget it. This is what it is. I love her so much. I'm just going to overlook everything. I done went in debt. Gave her $30,000. I'm just going to keep on spinning. Fuck it. Keep the ball rolling. New Year's season. That's crazy, man. Literally, he said, he said, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. She said, no, he said something like, I love you. She said, okay, baby. Can you imagine if you told a dude, now imagine you telling a dude, um, I love you, baby. He said, Okay, baby. It was like you said, it was just such vague responses. There, it, it will. That's Can it. I say something? Go ahead. Typically, it's the other way around. Mm-hmm. Like, he was expressing to her all his emotions and what he was going through. It's typically the other way around. Yep. But in, in this situation, you know, <laughs> it was him. Yeah, he was sweet. He was he was mushy and gushy like a gummy bear. That's what it was. And and she was just like very, you know, straightforward, vague responses. Mm-hmm. It should be the other way around, right? Just like you just said. See, yeah. This is, a, this is a woman right here, right in front of your eyes, letting y'all know. That's why I tell you, Icy Blue Peel Beta Seth, you ninjas bet not be out there simping, man. She telling you, it's supposed to be the other way around. But let's continue, y'all. But Mike, she's she's sending you three letters every single time. I know all that. So let's get in, let's get into the rest. So you sent money through Cash App every single time. I sent her to Cash App, and she used the Bitcoin. So the wallet you gave us actually had money deposited two days ago. I sent her money. Okay, and that was cryptocurrency. And so there yeah. were 153 transactions that went in there, and all those transactions ended up in a. Binance wallet, and they also ended up in a Wazirix wallet. I know the amounts that I've sent her. So mm. Wazirix is an Indian cryptocurrency exchange. Okay. Mm. So if you're not in India, there really is no reason for you to use an Indian cryptocurrency exchange. So what you're saying is that she uh, is in India? Either she's in India or the person she's sending money to to wash the money is in India. Okay. Our team, we ran a reverse image search and we were okay. able to locate the real person in these images. Okay. And her name's not Mary. Okay. Her name is Sherry and she's happily married and she's also lives in Missouri. She's not in Afghanistan. She's not deployed on a, on a peacekeeping mission. Is she, is she the person on the picture? She's the person in the pictures. She's married? She's married, but she hasn't been talking to you, Mike. Okay. Okay. Messed up, man. Like, they, like his soul been taken out of his body. It's like his soul just left his body, literally. Like, that's crazy. You find out the whole time you've been driving 10, 12 hours a day and sending all this money thirty thousand dollars over the course of time all you've been doing is building some kind of binance folder for somebody or some kind of crypto folder for somebody all the way in india and it's crazy it takes for them to tell him that for him to actually see the truth we're gonna bring the real woman in these images onto the call with us okay okay you're gonna be able to speak to her face to face wow okay Mike was so deep in love with Mary, we knew we had to get the real woman in front of him to get him to fully come to terms. He was about to come face to face with the woman he thought he was in a relationship with for nearly three years. That's what he needs. Hi, how are you? I'm not doing too good. <laughs> no. I'm not, doing too- I- nah. I'm not doing too good at all. So Sherry, we just... um revealed to Mike that 
he's not talking to you. And so we wanted to bring you on so that you could talk to him and explain your situation because this is not the first time this has happened to you. I, I, I'm just um, looking at Sherry and, oh, wow, Sherry. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's really unfortunate, honestly, to, because I mean, unfortunately, you're not the, the first person that I've, I've found out about this. Um, but it's, it's sad, honestly, it's sad to see innocent, good people getting scammed. You know, there's, there's just bad people out there. And I hate to see that, you know, affecting people like yourself. And so it's heartbreaking to see the side of it. With well, Sherry, you know, um, I'm glad I'm getting a chance to see you. I understand. Um, it's, uh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's, and it's over, you guys. It's, it's over. I'm going to move on. I, I, I'm going to move on. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, that's probably best just for yourself and for, you know. Yeah. We ran some searches on your profiles. You have thousands of them all over the internet. How is it dealing with this on a day-to-day -day basis? You know, it kind of goes um, back and forth. I get a lot of messages from people usually um, either on one side of the spectrum that are, you know, hey, I'm sorry you're dealing with this, just so you know, these profiles are out there. And of course, I'm aware of those. Um, and then the other side is where I've gotten messages saying, hey, like, I've sent this person this much money and they feel like I owe them something, you know, and that's the hard one. So I just kind of, at no. this point, you know, this, I've, I've been dealing with it since about 2017, as I want to say, when my Instagram stuff started picking up. Um, since then... I, I just have kind of shut down from it. I tried my best to create awareness on my page, you know, putting out stories like PSAs, basically just saying, hey, like this isn't, this is false, be aware of this, you know, X, Y, and Z. But at this point, it's sort of, I've, I've pulled away from social media. Um, I don't really use it as much. I'm not active on there anymore. It feels like if I post photos, then I'm basically just giving ammo to these scammers Mike, I know this is like extremely emotional for you. Speaking to someone for, you know, all these years and then seeing this person, it has to feel surreal. I'm a pretty strong person. Mm -hmm. um, I've been, I've been duped. Let's put it that way. Yeah. It's only money to me. Um, mm -hmm. I've been duped. And I heard, I hope that the karma that's the karma that's about to come to these people because it will come. You know, I'm a very spiritual person, and what's happened to me, I gave from the bottom of my heart every day, uh, thinking that this was something that we're going to build on. Um, I really hope that you know things get better for you. I'm so sorry that you had to go through this. It's um, okay. I'm, it's I'm okay. glad that. You know, I was able to be here and give you some closure, hopefully, and help you move on. You know, there's good people out there and, you know, okay. don't stop trying and it's going to get better. And okay. I really wish you the best. You take care of yourself. You're always in my, I mean, oh, look, you take care of yourself. Okay. okay? Uh, All right. I'm glad I got a chance to, to truly meet you. I'm glad. Okay. Yes, I am too. I mean, yeah, I wish you, I wish you the best. And thank you all for what you guys do. Very cool. He's so programmed from being in love by that picture. In his mind, he think he literally, part of him still believe that he's still talking to the woman that he fell in love with in the picture. You heard what he said? You're always going to be in my mind. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. they switch it up real fast, man. That's crazy. You like literally got reality come right in front of you. You got, the, you got woman items now. Straight Disney fairy tale style. You know, you love Disney fairy tale too. Look at you. You love be selling. You, love, you like it. Look at you. Thrills and fairs with us being selling dream Disney fairy tale style. Let's continue, y'all. Fine. Thank you so much, Sherry. Of course. All right. Thank you. See you. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. okay. Wow, you guys. Okay. I can deal with it. So we have one more thing that we want to reveal. So mm -hmm. we did an IP tracker. And so with the IP tracker, we took a link. We have a website called fugiftcards.com and we sent that link. 
well, when the person clicks on the link and mm -hmm. they come to our website, we can actually track their location. Oh. The person that clicked on the link is from Lagos, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're Nigerian. So they're most likely Nigerian. Okay. Wow. You don't know what you guys just did for me. It means you a lot. Guys for me. did, you guys just did. You guys don't know what you just did for me. I mean, you guys just completed my world. I mean, you just, you did something for me. I really thank you guys because I, I know now I've been hacked and it's okay. I can move on. He talking about it's okay, man. Listen, you driving 10, 12 hours a day but over the course of a few years and $30,000 gone, giving away to somebody? Nah. But they say, you know, that he stopped and he blocked the girl and everything like that. And then also, they, you know, they working right now to get the scam thing. I ain't gonna lie. He said he had a big settlement coming in. I get the top the tier lawyer on top of that one. I need to find out who these people is. Yeah, I doubt he's ever getting that money back. I, and I ain't gonna say not all Nigerians though, but you know, you do got a percentage of Nigerians to do some scamming. I've, I've seen some situations happen before, you know, income tax season style. You know, you come back in that boy, I'm talking about all the computers gone. It's just a vacant area. They just start filing taxes and just disappeared out of nowhere. So yeah, man, that's crazy. They said India at first though, and then found out the trace back, it was freaking Nigeria. That's wild, $30,000. Like, nah, I ain't letting that know. No, honestly, like, well, that type of person this man is, he's not gonna do that. Because he was, he's no, like, right. money, money's nothing to me, you know? He said, I didn't lose anything because money's nothing to me. I mean, he got his emotions all involved. It's going to mess him up for the rest of his life. You got to get some therapy for that one. For sure, yeah. But it's sad because if you think about it, there's so many other people that this is happening to. Yeah. Even after all this time, like, catfishing is not a new thing. No. And people are still falling for it. Every single day. Crazy. Look, y'all getting it from Japata right there, you know, the lady with the baby legs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. But listen, y'all, man, listen, this is all I got to say about this video. You know, let's be on our purpose. Let's be on our grind. Let's get our money on point. Don't be giving it away to people in pictures that you don't know you ain't never seen before. Don't be loosely giving your cash away. Let's get our mind on point. Let's get our body on point, man. Develop them social skills, you know. Last but not least, get you a passport and travel to a destination of your liking. But make sure that you tap in with people with a proof of concept, man, and actually live in that country, get you a consultation so you know exactly how to move so you don't get finessed, man. Before I leave y'all, you know, let me know what y'all think in the comment section about the video. You know, let me know what y'all think about your father, man. You know, tell a friend, then tell a friend, then tell another friend. Listen, I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Yeah. Got the streets on fire, feel the heat, the way, way. Ain't never had no handouts, put in work, I'm self made. Superhero strength, I got the power, Luke Cage. Flexing on them haters like Drake. This is real rap, no 